behavior is just the first clue that 3 Atlas might be something more. NASA's Impossible Comet On the 1st of July, 2025, a survey telescope in Chile picked up a faint smudge of light moving at an incredible speed. Clocking in at over 130,000 miles per hour, it was instantly flagged as an interstellar visitor, only the third one ever confirmed. It was named 3E Atlas. But not all things are what they seem. Right away, this object was different. Its path through our solar system was unusually fast and straight. A trajectory so extreme, it shattered records. But the real shock came when the big telescopes like Hubble and Gemini South turned their powerful eyes toward it. What they saw sent a ripple of disbelief through the entire scientific community. Comets have tails. That's what they do. These tails made of dust and gas are supposed to stream away from the sun, pushed by the constant force of solar wind and radiation. It's one of the most basic rules of the cosmos. Three, I Atlas breaks that rule. Every new image showed the same impossible sight, a bright, persistent plume of material pointing directly sunward. It was fighting against the very force that should have been pushing it away. This wasn't a flicker or a temporary anomaly. It was a constant, sustained feature. The thing nobody tells you is just how bizarre this is. It's like finding a flag that blows directly into the wind. Scientists rushed to their computers running every model they had. None of them worked. The dust in this sunward plume seemed far too heavy to be moved around by solar wind in this way. Yet it was clearly being ejected from the sunlit face of the comet's nucleus. It was a complete contradiction. Many people are crazy about this because it's a mystery playing out in real time, right in our own cosmic backyard. The object's path was another puzzle. It was tilted just five from Earth's own path around the sun in alignment. So precise that the odds of it happening by chance are less than one in 500. As if that weren't enough. Its trajectory was set to take it on close flybys of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. A sequence of cosmic hellos with a probability of less than one in 20,000. This thing wasn't just passing through. It was taking the scenic route from the moment it was spotted. 3IE Atlas was screaming that it was something new, something that didn't fit into our neat little boxes of what an interstellar object should be. The initial reports were cautious, using scientific jargon to downplay the strangeness. But behind the scenes, the panic was real. How could a comet's tail act like an engine? What force could be so powerful and so controlled as to create a sunward plume? This was more than just an oddity. It was a direct challenge to our understanding of the universe. The comet was a puzzle box, and with every passing day, it only presented more locks, with no keys in sight. But the tail was just the first piece of an even stranger puzzle. Not your garden variety comet you see, when something in space moves in a way that gravity alone can't explain. Scientists call it non-gravitational acceleration. It's usually caused by jets of gas bursting from a comet surface as it's heated by the sun, giving it a tiny, unpredictable nudge. It's the cosmic equivalent of a leaky steam pipe. But the force moving three Atlas wasn't tiny, and it certainly wasn't unpredictable. Astrometric tracking, the high precision measurement of an object's position, confirmed it. Three Atlas was not following a path dictated by gravity. There was a consistent, sustained force pushing it, and the direction of that push aligned perfectly with its impossible sun-pointing tail. This wasn't a leak. This was propulsion. The force was estimated to be around 410 to the power of minus 7 meters per second squared. That sounds incredibly small, but over weeks, this gentle, constant nudge was enough to shift the object's position by thousands of miles from where it was supposed to be. To get that much push from normal water ice sublimation, the comet would need to be losing 10 times more mass than what astronomers could actually see. The numbers simply didn't add up. Computer simulations came to a startling conclusion. The only way to match the observations was if three. Iatlas had a focused sunward firing jet emitting mostly heavy grains of dust. The estimated thrust was around 0.4 millitons. A tiny amount of force but comparable to the ion engines we use on our most advanced spacecraft then the James Webb Space Telescope delivered the next bombshell by analyzing the light from the comet's coma. Scientists can determine its chemical makeup. 
what they found in 3i Atlas was mind-boggling. Most comets in our solar system have a fairly balanced ratio of carbon dioxide to water. 3i Atlas had a ratio of 8 was the metal. The telescope detected atomic nickel vapor in the coma and a lot of it. But its usual partner, iron, was completely missing. In our solar system, nickel and iron are cosmic brothers. They're almost always found together, forged in the same stellar furnaces. Finding one without the other is like finding a single footprint in the snow in the middle of a desert. It just shouldn't be there. This bizarre chemical signature, combined with its engine-like thrust, elevated three at Lys. From a curiosity to a profound unnerving enigma. This pattern of anomalies and impossible movement and a strange makeup had been seen once before. A familiar strangeness before 3E Atlas. There was one eye Muamua, the first interstellar object ever detected a Muamua, shot through our solar system in 2017 and left. A trail of unanswered questions that still haunt astronomers today. It was small, shaped like a cigar or a pancake, and it was moving in a way that gravity couldn't explain. Just like Atlas, it displayed non-gravitational acceleration. But here's the thing that made Umuamua so spooky. It had no tail, no coma, no visible outgassing at all. Yet something was pushing it. This led to a storm of controversy and speculation. The most famous and most divisive idea came from Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, who proposed that Amuamua could be an artificial object. A light sail created by an alien civilization. He argued that the push could be explained by the pressure of sunlight acting on a very thin, very light surface. The idea was met with huge skepticism from the mainstream. Scientific community who tried to find natural explanations like hidden jets of hydrogen gas. But none of the explanations fit the data perfectly. Um, Mua Mu was an anomaly, a ghost that appeared, baffled everyone, and disappeared back into the darkness leaving us with more questions than answers. Now, fast forward to 3i Atlas. It's almost like Yumi MUA's bigger, louder cousin. Where Yumuamwa's push was invisible, Atlas's propulsion is on full display with its glowing sunward tail. Where Yumo MMUA's composition was a complete mystery. Atlas gives us a chemical signature so strange it might as well be alien. The parallel is undeniable. Many people are crazy about the connection Wondering if these two objects are related, perhaps originating from the same unknown source? Are these just two examples of a new, bizarre class of natural object that we never knew existed? Or are we seeing something else? The thing nobody tells you is that having two such anomalies in just a few years is statistically mind-blowing. It suggests that these objects might be far more common in our galaxy than we ever imagined. 3E Atlas isn't just a standalone mystery. It's a repeating pattern. It forces us to take the more out-there ideas about Amua, Amua, a little more seriously. It validates the feeling that something profound is happening. The universe is showing us something that breaks our models. And it has done it twice. And the biggest test for this strange visitor is just around the corner. The ultimate flyby. On October 30th, 2025, 3i Atlas will reach Parhelion, its closest point to the sun. At this moment, it will be bathed in the most intense heat and radiation, and its mysterious engine will be under maximum stress. This is when any object, natural or not, reveals its true nature. But there's a catch, a massive one. As it makes this critical pass, the comet will be on the far side of the sun from our perspective. It will disappear behind the sun's blinding glare in an event called a solar conjunction. For weeks, all our telescopes will be blind we won't be able to see a thing. This is the moment that has every astronomer holding their breath. The thing is, this period of darkness is the perfect time for an object to make a maneuver. At perihelion, an object has its highest kinetic energy. A tiny nudge, a small burn from an engine, has a massive effect on its future trajectory. If three Atlas were, for instance, a probe slowing down to enter an orbit, this is exactly when and where it would do it completely hidden from our prying eyes. Is this just a cosmic coincidence? Or is the timing suspiciously perfect? So, what are we really looking at here? Let's talk like we're sitting around a campfire looking up at the stars. Could this all happen by chance? 
a comet with a tail that pushes it with a chemical signature from another world on a path that seems to greet our neighboring planets, which then conveniently hides behind the sun at the most crucial moment. Are we just missing a key detail in our understanding of comets? Or is it possible that for the first time we are looking at something that wasn't born from a star, but was built? We have to wonder when three Atlas re-emerges from behind the sun, scientists will be watching its every move. They'll be measuring its path down to the inch. If its trajectory is changed in a way that the sun's gravity can't account for, the conversation is going to shift dramatically. The unbelievable NASA admission about its propulsion might just be the first chapter in a much bigger or world-changing story. But let's push the boundaries even further. What if it's not just a simple probe, but something far more complex? One theory floating around the edges of science is that this is a Bracewell probe, an autonomous ancient deep spacecraft designed to find and observe emerging civilizations like ours. It might have been drifting dormant for millions of years. Perhaps its flyby of Jupiter, or the sun's increasing radiation was the final trigger in a long activation sequence. That carefully planned path past Mars and Venus wasn't just a scenic route. It could have been the probe taking its final baseline readings of our system before making its big move. Its engine isn't for travel. It's for fine-tuning its final position. Maybe to settle into a hidden orbit in the asteroid belt watching us forever. Then there's a stranger, more creative theory. What if its purpose isn't to watch, but to create? That bizarre chemical signature with its overwhelming carbon dioxide and lonely nickel might not be exhaust from an engine. What if it's a payload? Some speculate this could be a sophisticated terraforming machine, a cosmic seed designed to alter a planetary environment. The engine-like plume isn't propulsion. It's a controlled dispersal mechanism releasing specific exotic materials into the inner solar system. The pass behind the sun is the perfect moment to release the bulk of its payload undetected, letting the solar wind carry it outward to its intended target. And here's where it gets really weird. What if the object itself is the message? It's impossible physics might be deliberate, a kind of cosmic smoke signal. Any civilization advanced enough to notice a comet breaking the laws of physics is advanced enough to be worth talking to. It could be a galactic test. If we correctly identify it as artificial, perhaps it will try to communicate after it emerges from behind the sun. It's a puzzle box. And solving it is the first step of an IQ test on a planetary scale. But there's an even darker possibility. One that some scientists don't even like to whisper about. It comes from something called the Dark Forest Hypothesis, which says that the universe is silent because it's a dangerous place and announcing your presence is a death sentence. In this scenario, three atlas isn't a probe or a seed, it's debris. It's the smoking remnant of a conflict we can't imagine. A piece of a destroyed ship or weapon still bleeding exotic energy and materials as its damaged systems fail. What do you think three eye atlas really is? Are we witnessing a new natural phenomenon or is it a calling card from somewhere else? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to stay updated on this incredible story, be sure to like